2022 grade 9 Pascal math contest questions 1 through 10. The expression 20 plus 22 over 2 is equal to. Well, 20 plus 22 over 2, that's 42 over 2, which is 21. Therefore, that's D. The graph to the right shows the amount of money that each of the four students donated to the school fundraiser. The total amount of money they donated was. Well, this person donated $2, Mike donated $6, Pierre donated $2, and Ritika donated 8 So I guess you just add it up to get the total. And that total to me is 18 and therefore that's B. The value of 1 half plus 2 over 4 plus 4 over 8 plus 8 over 16. Okay. 1 half plus 2 over 4 plus 4 over 8 plus 8 over 16. Well, these all look like halves to me in lowest terms. And therefore, you've got 4 times a half. And that is 2. And therefore, that's E. Which of the following? is closest to negative 3.4. All right, so we got a number line and we got negative 3.4. So let's draw these. Negative four is about here. Negative three is here. Zero is out here. And three and four are out here somewhere. So obviously the two candidates that are closest are those guys. Negative four is 0 0.6 away. Negative three is only 0 0.4 away. So therefore, this one is the closest, and therefore, that would mean the answer for number four is B. Points P, Q, R, S are on a number line as shown. The ratio of the lengths P, R to Q, S is. P, R to Q, S. Okay. P to R is from 3 to 10, and that is 7. Q, S is from Q to S, and that distance is from 5 to 17 is 12. And that's it. So number 5, the answer is A. Robin has four tasks to do, and Sasha has 14 tasks. In order for Robin and Sasha to do the same number of tasks, how many of Sasha's tasks should Robin do? Robin has four, Sasha has four. 14 and we want the same right so the total is 4 plus 14 divided well the total is 4 plus 14 which is 18 and you divide by 2 to get how many tasks each would need to do in order for them to have equal same number of tasks so we want to go from 4 to 9 so obviously we have to add 5 so therefore that 5 would have to come from Sasha according to the question and I think that's it. So number six, the answer is C. In the diagram, the lengths of the four sides of the figure are shown in terms of x. What is the perimeter? OK. So from here to here is 2x. From here to here is x. And therefore, this from there to there is x. Because these are all right angles, right? So that means these are all parallel lines. Like this is parallel to that and so on. From here to here is x, from here to here is 3x, so therefore this distance would be 2x. So the perimeter is x plus 2x plus x plus x plus 2x plus 3x. And if my math is correct, that adds up to 10x, which is e for number 7. A circular spinner is divided into four sections, as shown. The angles at the center of the circle in the sections labeled green and blue each measure 90 degrees. An arrow is attached to the center of the spinner. The arrow is spun once. What is the probability that the arrow lands on either red or, or yellow? Okay. Well, this is 90 degrees, the green, so that means it's 90 over 360, which is a quarter. Blue is also the same story, 90 degrees over the total amount of degrees in a circle, which is 360, and that's also a quarter. So red and yellow, or 
but the probability that the arrow lands on either red or yellow. Okay, well that's the complement of those of the green and blue. So green and blue are one quarter plus one quarter, which is a half. So red and yellow are the other half, correct? Because it's one minus a half. Red or yellow. Total is one. You subtract from it this guy, which is green and blue, green plus blue, and then you get a half. So there you go. That would mean D for number eight. The line with the equation y is equal to 2x plus b passes through the point minus 4, 0, the value of b is. So you take this equation, you substitute in negative 4, 0. So 0 for y and negative 4 for x. And you get 0 is equal to minus 8 plus b, and therefore b is equal to 8. Number 9, the answer is E. On the map shown, there are a number of routes from Mathville to Algebra Town. Each route must travel along the roads in the direction marked by the arrows. The total number of routes from Mathville to Algebra Town is. Okay, so what I did was I just sort of, just to make it a little bit easier, I labeled them each route by a letter. So A, B, C, D, E. And like you can label, label them whatever you want. I just did the letters G, H, and I, and J. Is there any more? Oh, yeah, there's K up here. And then I just manually counted it. So I said, okay, well, how do I get from Mathville to Algebra Town? Well, one is A, B, C. That's one way. Another way is A, K, E, C. Another way is A, K, F, G. Well, that exhausts the A's. Then I got to go through the D's. D, E, C, D, F, G. And I think that exhausts the D's. Now I got to go through H. H, uh, J, G, H, I, E, C, and H, I, F, G. And I think that's it. And that's a total of eight. And therefore... Number 10 to see.